Hi guys, I'm Official Hold. Welcome to Java Programming Tutorial. Um, in our last tutorials, we've discussed and we fixed the um, simple mathematical operations buttons, which include the uh, plus, minus, multiply, and divide. So um, today we'll be working on scientific functions, tan, sine, and cosine, and um, we'll be fixing those three buttons very fast. I'd like you to watch carefully and observe carefully. If you have any questions, Please drop your questions in the comment section now at the end of the day as fast as possible. So um very fast we'll be um fixing the turn button first and I'd like you to right click here um copy and paste so we'll drag out uh -huh. okay so done and please increase the length a little bit copy and paste and name this course and copy and paste and this sign okay. so a time cost and sign are used to calculate scientific functions when it comes to calculating angles and like that um, when you're using Pythagoras theorem and stuff like that in mathematics so uh, very fast to the tan right click go to events action and action performed so using what we've previously declared number one number two and all that we'll say number one as we usually say equals double dot pass double and say screen dot get text And in the next line, we'll declare a variable called tan equals um, mat dot tan, and we we'll use number one here. Now this calculates the value of um, tan of whatsoever number we imputed there, and saves it in the um, variable space or in the uh, data space stand so uh, next we'll be giving the output of what we've done so to we'll say um, screen dot set text string dot value of and here just say time so first to test it um, right click and run so here we go. Um, ten forty is one, so we'll be using that to test it. T to calculate to input forty and ten. So ten forty is minus one point one one seven two one four nine zero and blah 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 blah. So um, you can do for other values twenty three ten um, thirty ten. Like that, like that, ten, ten, one, ten. So basically, the ten allows you to calculate to um, how many decimal places here, any amount of decimal places. So um, next, we're going to be doing almost the same thing for the um, sine and cosine, but in this case, we'll just be changing the the um, the operation here tan so just copy this code here control c go to design right click on your course event action action performed and paste now change this to course change this to course and change this to course now if you run your code you automatically get the value of the cost of whatsoever number you um, input. So basically, that is how to work with the tan, cos, and cosine. Sorry, tan, sine, and cosine. So if you say 30 cos, or if you can say now 40 cos, anything you input gets you the right answer. So um, do the same thing for sine and Right click, go to events, action, action performed, and paste the code. 
and just change this to you can just change this alone to sign and that's all run file I think sign one is something okay as you can see that's sign one for sign forty sign thirty two sign uh, like that it goes on and on and on and on so you can test for anything imagine so like that like that like that like that you keep testing for any value you want so that is all about tan cost and sign i hope to see you in the next tutorial please if you have any questions drop them in the comment section I'll attend to them. Have a nice day.